Hey, good afternoon. This is Christy Renee here with uh, Christy Renee Healing Ministries. And I just wanted to get on real quick um, and talk to you about all of the things that are going on on the planet. And not really. I'm not going through all of it. Um, we all know that there's stuff going on, or most of us do. And I just now heard this from a lady named Dr. Jan, and I'll try and post the video below about what she was talking about. Towards the end of it is where it caught my the main part of my interest. Because what she was saying was that there's so much information and so many timelines going on, so many dates being set that aren't being met. And um, it's the, the destruction of hope when somebody says, this is going to happen on this date, and then it doesn't. And that happens repeatedly, which it has for a lot of different things. And um, what she said after her, she had two great depressions through all of this. And I can honestly say I didn't go through any great depressions. But I did go through some anger and some lack of trust and some, um, some other things. And... Um, what she said she came to is kind of what I came to, was just to be in gratitude. And she said specifically in gratitude for the people putting out the information. Whether they're correct or not, you know, don't set your hope on the date. Don't set your hope on the thing. Don't set your hope on whatever they think is, you know, whatever they're trying to say is going to happen. Because this is all... And it's been said many times before, this is all a chess game. And on a higher level, it's a, a fifth dimension chess game. It's a 5D chess game. And the master of the board is playing it so masterfully that he's taking a lot of things into um, account that probably most of us don't even know exist or don't see or don't realize. One of the things she talked about was how um, so many of the people who were awake are now even more awake because of all of this. You know, from the start of COVID and what COVID really is and where it started and how it happened and, you know, all the information on both sides of the spectrum that have come out since then, you know, to the everything that went along with it, the closures, the jabs, everything that went along with it. Um, the understanding that our government is a corporation and not a real government. The understanding that their IRS, their tax, um, money laundering schemes and everything else. Like all of this stuff, right? So we start to understand all of those things. And those of us who get it, got it, right? We still have our little quirks and issues with some of it. But we understand it for the most part. And then there's a group of people that kind of are getting it. Right? They kind of get it, and then there's a group that are kind of getting it, that are slowly starting to understand more and more. And then there's a group of people who have no freaking clue that there's anything even going on. And I have met a number of these people, and they always just make me squint, and my eyes start getting all twitchy and weird. And I'm just like, how do you not know any of this? How do you not see any of this? But they don't, so you have to have compassion, right? So compassion helps. And there's a huge group of people out there that are saying to the people who don't know anything, fuck them. Excuse my language, but that. And, um, like, let's move on. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Um, but the 5D chess game won't allow for that. And the master of the 5D chess game won't allow for that. So you have to understand there's more going on in the timeline of allowing um, for all of these things to happen than what most of us understand or can even probably comprehend, including, including myself. There's a way um, bigger picture being played out here than we recognize. Your patience is required. Your gratitude is required. Your compassion is required. And the more of that you can muster, the more of that you can work through the system, the better off you'll do through all of this. So, um, 
Um, it's not over yet. It's not even close to being over yet by my estimation. Um, you know, the collapse is coming. The fiat currency is, is probably definitely going to go down no matter what we think or don't think. Um, there are things you can do in lieu of that. So this would be my little commercial. Go check out my video on the transact card. You have to bank anyway. You might as well with bank with a bank that gives you something back, right? A bigger bank for your buck than you're getting anywhere else. So go check my video out and sign up for their um, debit card. That's $25 fee to, to join the club. It is a club. It's a uh, PMA. And once you're a member, you're going to get all kinds of benefits that you will get nowhere else. Um, and even if the system collapses, at least you're on a better side of the coin than if you're staying with the regular commercial banks. So there's that. Okay, now, compassion. How do you find compassion in all of this? How do you, how do you get yourself into a situation of compassion? Go into your heart. Go into your heart and ask, show me compassion or fill me with compassion. At some point, you're going to recognize you are compassion, right? It's part of what spirit is. It is part of what, um, part of what you are, honestly. I am backing up, so if I get you dizzy, I apologize. Um... Gratitude. What is gratitude, right? Go into a state of gratitude. Even saying gratitude statements, right? Starting to go back into the old form of, of doing all of this stuff. Just gratitude statements. I'm grateful this person put out this information. I'm grateful um, I got to listen to it. I'm grateful somebody shared that with me. I'm grateful for, you know, whatever it is you're grateful for. And I'm sorry if you were just looking at my nose. I was trying to drive backwards. Um... So gratitude, patience, gratitude, compassion, patience. How do you get patience? Breathe, relax. If you lose your patience, take a few deep breaths, relax your body, relax your body. And then look at what you looked at again. Um, and for me, it would be through the angle of the periphery of your vision, right? So look at, close your eyes and look through the periphery of your vision. It's weird what that does, but um, it's pretty amazing. So I would say do that. And then I would also say, I am never going to be able to get out of here. I would also say to um, continue practicing heart coherence. Always, always, always. All right. Hope that helps. Love you. Be good. Be well. And we'll talk again soon.